Hello, my name is Diki Pelopesi. I'm from Indonesia and I'm a lecturer at the Faculty of Psychology at the University of Indonesia. Today, I'm going to share with you my presentation entitled Sense of Community as Cultural Praxis. This presentation is based on the study I completed when I did my PhD a while ago. My presentation aims to provide interpretation and understanding of how sense of community reflects contextual community processes and operates as praxis. It is widely known by academics and researchers in the field of community psychology that sense of community is a key concept and one of the core values in the field of community psychology. Seymour Sarason, in his seminal book of Psychological Sense of Community, put forward that sense of community is a conceptual anchor of the study of community psychology. As most of us know, the four factor models of sense of community put forward by David McMillan and David Chavis in 1986 is the most embraced theory of sense of community and the most cited in the study of sense of community in the field of community psychology. However, Macmillan and Chaffee's sense of community index or SEI as a measurement of sense of community has been placed under scrutiny and SEI's for factor structure has been also called into questions. There has been a call to critically examine as well as expand sense of community as theoretical conception of what it means to experience a sense of community. In the context of this call, my study or this presentation is delivered. Please let me explain briefly about the methodology of this study. Basically, this is the study into the community that experienced a disaster and displacement in the aftermath of a disaster. Some studies have pointed out that disaster caused the, the disruption of sense of community. The community being studied was permanently relocated after the 2010 eruption of Mon Merapi in Java Island in Indonesia. Mon Merapi is one of the deadliest volcanoes and Indonesia's most active volcano. The study was a qualitative study and it adopted constructivist grounded theory approach. The fieldwork component of this study involved a three and a half months immersion in the community. Fast forward, let's get to the findings of the study. One of the findings is that the volcano was embraced as part of people's life. It was not seen as merely a physical form and reality People saw it not only as a physical force that could bring destructive physical impacts to them when it erupts. More importantly, people believe the volcano actually sustained their life. Inhabiting the slopes of the volcano made the community immediately connected to an essential feature of the Javanese worldview in relation to the centrality of Mount Merapi. And people personified this, the volcano in a way that it became personal and familiar. Thus, essentially, the volcano characterized the community and it was transformed to becoming a realm which was personal, familiar, and comfortable to live with. This study reiterates the importance of rebuilding sense of community post-disaster. 
The study found that being displaced permanently to a new setting made the redevelopment of sense community more crucial. Moreover, sense of community in the context of displacement post-disaster needs to be present beyond individual's perception and feeling that is broken down into elemental parts. One of the key findings of this study is that critical quality of sense community in the context of post-disaster is about experience. What people emphasize about experience is about what people practice or can practice or could practice after they move to the relocation site. People rebuild sense of community to, through practice that enhance bondedness with community, that perform communal action for achieving the common good, and that enact symbolic function of community practice called Gotong Royong. Through enacting Gotong Royong, people can achieve individual level peace and community level social harmony. People associated Gotong Royong with community functioning at its best. So it is important to recognize sense of community as a process that occurs in community and operates setting specific. Let me to conclude that sense of community is importantly defined as contextual community processes and is operating as praxis. What does it mean as praxis? As praxis, it demonstrates the propensity of an individual to follow norms of engaging in what is regularly done in the community and of being harmonious in working with other people. So that's all from me. Thank you for your attention.